Breaking news, a Baltimore Ravens player gets fired and then the very next day, he gets his job back. Team, keep it clean. How y'all doing? Y'all enjoyed that Baltimore Ravens open practice? I hope y'all did. Shout out to any of y'all that were out there. I hope y'all had a really, really, not a good time, but I hope y'all had a great time. I hope the Ravens put on a show for y'all and I hope y'all enjoyed yourselves, you and your family and your friends and everybody who was out there. Anyway, Baltimore Ravens who stay busy. They like now is a season where they, they ain't taking no days off. They are taking absolutely no days off because they always got something going on. Trayvon Mullen, Lamar Jackson's cousin. Yesterday, he was let go. Um, he was released uh, and they, they put it as a uh, he failed to uh, he, he failed to designate his injury to the team or something like that. He didn't let them know what was going on with some injury. That's the, the, the designation that they gave the transaction. And I was thinking, all right, with Trayvon Mullen, it's a missed opportunity because that third, fourth, even fifth, really every cornerback spot outside of Marlon Humphrey and Rocky Singh and even Kyle, well, depending on what they do with Kyle Hamilton this year, but every cornerback spot after those two, it's up for grabs in my opinion. It ain't no person where it's like, all right, that's going to be the guy for the job. You may have some people who you think may be the right guy for the job. You may, there may be some people that got a little bit of a leg up or whatnot. But right now, the Ravens do not have a clear-cut guy for their cornerback spot. Their cornerback spots are literally all over the place right now. After Marlon Humphrey and Rocky So I'm like, man, Trayvon Mullen got cut. Missed an opportunity, but nope. Maybe nepotism is still alive. Maybe it is. Because we, we see it with coaching staffs and whatnot, not just with the Ravens, just really around the league. One thing that I also noticed, too, and this kind of a little sidetrack, but it happens really it happens everywhere. Um, because I remember uh, I was looking at, oh, Guardians of the Galaxy, watching Guardians of the Galaxy and doing watching a little bonus features and whatnot. And um, the director, I think is James Gunn, I believe. But he had his brother. Uh, his brother had like multiple roles in the movie And then there were some other people that he worked with From other movies in Guardians of the Galaxy But then uh, He did some other movies too And when you look at his history of movies He works with a lot of the same people So again with nepotism Not even just nepotism But just putting people on that you know It happens a lot Literally everywhere But anyway That was besides the point uh, But Lamar Jackson's cousin, who knows if that had got anything to do with anything, but Trayvon Mullen is officially back with the Baltimore Ravens. They re-signed him today. Today. Like, so they just brought him back. It's like the, the, the transaction seemed like it ain't even clear from yesterday officially yet, but they brought him right back today. So he is right back in the mix at cornerback. Hopefully he's healthy. I don't know the status of his health, but hopefully he's healthy and he'll be great to go. Not good to go, but great to go. Because has that ever happened to any of y'all before where you get fired from a job and literally the next, the very next day, you get that same job back? <laughs> it ain't never happened to me before. Like, I've got fired from a job. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't, they, don't hit me, they don't hit me back, man. They say, oh, we got rid of him? Okay, he's going. All right, that's it. That's a wrap. Uh, but that's okay because, again, it, things eventually worked out in the long run. So I appreciate every single job that I've ever been fired from. Uh, that I've been laid off from so That was a big one right there and, and any job that I ever quit too I made some dumb decisions in the past But again, in the long run Everything ended up working out Which I'm very, very grateful for But anyway, beside the point again So, uh, Jameson Hensley also let us know Something that is very, very big And important information to know Because this literally changes everything It, it changes everything when it comes to The Ravens running back situation They signed Melvin Gordon They signed Melvin Gordon to a one-year $3.1 million deal and we talked about when they first signed him, before the details of the deal came out, we talked about how this deal would be heavy with incentives. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't know it was going to be this heavy with incentives because we figured like, hey, the guaranteed money on the deal is going to be low. It's going to be low and it ain't going to be much, but most of the money that is on there is, is going to be a lot of incentives for him to possibly earn that $3.1 million. It will be hard, but uh, the incentives will be crazy, but... Jameson Hensley cleared all that up because he said, just a clarification on running back Melvin Gordon's deal with the Ravens. It's one year worth 1.165 mil. There is no guaranteed money. So Melvin Gordon is officially not a lock to make the roster. He's not a lock. 
Uh, he is not guaranteed to have a roster spot. I'm not sure where the $3.1 million deal came from. Who knows? But he, Jamison Hensley is saying it's a one-year deal worth $1.165 mil, No guaranteed money. So, this is a uh, Ravens play. This one's super safe. Boy, <laughs> they played it extra safe. Like, I, I'm like, okay, they signed up to a $3.1 million deal. And yesterday, the, the, it came out that it was like $1.165 mil in guarantees. But, No. It's not so. I, I was even thinking, okay, that's not bad. Like, stay ready, so you ain't got to get ready. You got J.K. Dobbins there; he's on the pup list right now. You got Gus Edwards getting back in shape and whatnot. You got Justice Hill, Keaton Mitchell. You 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 throw Melvin Gordon in there. Okay, you got another veteran too. So, it, it, I, and I was thinking, okay, with the way that it was structured, oh yeah, he gonna make the team. But now this, no, he ain't safe. He really ain't safe. Um, but. It does give the Ravens an insurance policy and a nice insurance policy and an insurance policy where it's like, oh, OK, they ain't dishing out a bunch of money. So this makes the deal look even better for the Ravens side. It makes them the deal look even better for the business side of the Baltimore Ravens for Melvin Gordon. It's tough because if you don't have a guaranteed deal, especially around this time of the year, especially at the running back position. ooh, because what the Ravens could do, they could finagle this thing. Because, well, it's, it's already not guaranteed, so I guess it really doesn't matter. But um, if you are on the week one roster, then it's, it's, something, it's something where your, your salary becomes guaranteed for the year, I believe. It's something like that. Um, you may not get it all at once, but it becomes guaranteed for the year, I believe. But then if a team signs you anytime after week one... Then you are week to week Your salary is not guaranteed They could have you on Say for instance They, they sign you to a one year deal After week one Sign you to a one year Five million dollar deal Just using this as, as an example And you play two weeks You will get two weeks worth Of whatever that Of that five mil And they, it's that they sign you to four, They sign you for two weeks And then they cut you You're not gonna get, a, get The four or five mil Since you were signed after week one Because it's not guaranteed You'll get the two weeks worth That you played And that you on a team But you will not get anything Past that So yeah, man. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this thing goes. But anyway, I just wanted to update y'all on that uh, since that news came through and some pretty significant updates for some for some depth guys on the team. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, team, keep it clean. Y'all are great. Y'all are beautiful. Y'all are wonderful people. I really appreciate everything that y'all do. Thank you all for watching the video with me and my guy BZ earlier uh, and letting y'all thoughts be known in the comment section about what you would or who you even would possibly trade for Chase Young. A lot of mixed reviews on that one. So some people like, why would you trade anything for Chase Young? He's been hurt so much. I saw my guy um, Free and D with the context, which is important. I think he said Chase Young got like a career of, he got nine sacks in his career. But the Dafia Way got like eight. So that that's something to look at to like, hey, they're like right there, same as sex. But uh Chase Young missed a lot of time. But Dafia Way hasn't. But even still, man. So again, with that with that trade, just to go back on that trade scenario, um, a lot of people were talking about PQ. That was a big part of it. And yeah, I I just I would not trade Patrick Queen for Chase Young. I to me, I don't think it's worth it. Um I understand the uh, what Chase Young could possibly bring to the Baltimore Ravens, but I also understand what Patrick Queen does bring to the Baltimore Ravens and what he has brought to the Baltimore Ravens. See, with something like that, and we about to get out of here in a second, but with something like that, um, with Patrick Queen, uh, again, availability, he's there. He is always there, suited up every single week, every single game. He don't miss time. He has been very, very healthy, and that's been a beautiful thing for his career because he's been healthy throughout his entire career so far, which is three years. So that's amazing. So yeah, 2020, 2021, 2022. Yeah, three years. And a lot of players, young, old, they can't say that. Patrick Queen can say that right now, though. And again, like I said before, too, this year, like the, he's set up to just do really nice, man. He set up to do really nice. And I know Ravens pass rush is like, ooh. When you think about it, it's like, oh, well, it's more so unknown. It's a lot of unknowns there. Um, Adafi Awake, is he going to turn the corner this year? We'll see. Uh, David Ajabo, how is he going to be in the NFL? A lot of people, like, I know my guy Michael Grant. He's been sending me messages saying, hey, he, David Ajabo, he plays like LT. I've been telling him. Oh, because he talked about how David Ajabo, when he goes for the, when he sacks somebody, he tried to knock that ball out too. 
And I said, I said, LT, now LT, okay, I wouldn't be mad, but LT, look, ooh, that's, that's some high praise right there. But then my guy JT just said the same thing too. I said, whoa, okay, now, all right, now. LT, okay. I mean, I ain't gonna be mad if he show up and be uh, DO, but hey, let's go, man. Well, I'm with whatever, man. Well, whatever, he does good. So, yeah, man, we, we're gonna see about David Ajabo this year. We keep hearing all this good stuff about him. But, um, yeah, when them pads come on, not training camp, but when the pads and the jerseys and, and they playing in the real games, we're going to see, man. I'm looking forward to it, though, man. It should be fun. Uh, they get their first real test uh, against the Texans, right? That's who we play week one, I believe. So, yeah, we're going to see, man. But, yeah, pass rush is a big question mark right now. Um, brought in Kyle Vinoy. Uh, you saw Tyus Bowser. He, status still up in the air right now. So, we'll see what's up with him. Um, but, yeah. So, a lot going on as usual with the Baltimore Ravens, uh, but I appreciate y'all supporting the channel. I appreciate y'all um, getting a lot of your updates. I know you get your updates from a lot of different people, which I appreciate. Cause shout out to all of them, cause y'all got some phenomenal options when it comes to getting your news about the Baltimore Ravens. Y'all have a, a lot, a plethora of different channels uh, you could go to to get updates and all that stuff. And I, I be looking at all the other videos. I, I look at videos from all my guys, man. All my guys, girls too, from who, who do the Raven stuff too. They may be joining in with some of the guys sometimes and whatnot. Uh, but I look at all that stuff, man. And, and I appreciate that everybody, uh, they, they, everybody usually put their own spin on stuff. And that's what makes it so fun. So shout out to all the, the, the Ravens channels out there. Um, everybody, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all team. Keep it clean so much. Thank you for everything that y'all do. Thank you for not only supporting us, but thank you for, for supporting all of them as well, man. Because that's what makes a big difference, man. Y'all are good people. Y'all stay up. Y'all stay good. Y'all just stay hydrated, too, because it's hot out here. I love y'all. And like Trayvon Mullen is no longer, when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens, we out.